contact centers have been given the green light by command center officials to remain operational during the 10-day imposed updated COVID-19 protocols. Site director of one of the leading call centers on the island, KM Squared Solutions, Marvin Bartholomew, says despite the nod from authorities and enhanced safety measures taken by the company, the call center, like other institutions, has not been immune to the threat of COVID-19. Our employees are part of the community, and if you have community spread, it really is only a matter of time before someone in their house, someone you know who lives next door, someone who was on the same bus, becomes positive, and then that uh, sort of comes home uh, to us as well. But uh, I think we're managing it well. Um, we continue to, 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 to react and to be as fluid as possible in, in dealing with the this, this situation as it uh, unfolds. Bartholomew contends that public safety remains at the heart of the company's campaigns and lauds the decision taken by NEMAC to keep call centers fully operational during the 10-day period. While we're at perhaps the riskiest position we've been in for some time, um, I think the government is prudent in recognizing uh, the need to find a balance and to do two things, uh, multitask if you, if you will, uh, keep people safe, uh, reduce the spread, but at the same time, uh, you know, prevent a collapse of the economy, uh, which is what is likely to happen if we have a sustained, um, you know, shutdown of sorts. So um, uh, I think that is the appropriate position to take. Obviously, there are things we'd like to see uh, stepped up. Uh, I think, you know, a testing regime has to, to, to be strengthened. We really have to get a little bit more aggressive uh, with the testing. Apart from a robust checkpoint upon entry at the establishment, the call center has also taken it one step further by adopting in-house rapid COVID-19 testing. So what we're doing is um, uh, testing our employees um, who we consider to be high risk. Either someone in their household um, is suspected or someone in their household is positive. And instead of having to wait for, you know, three, four, five, in some cases longer than that, uh, days to find out what the status is, uh, we thought if we got them tested, uh, you know, at least we have something on which we can make a decision. Either we're keeping risky people away from the office or they're getting cleared to come back to work so that there isn't a prolonged loss of income and loss of uh, productivity from a, a company standpoint. Moreover, the company representative says the establishment has begun expanding its capacity to deliver more opportunities in the job market. In the building we're in today, which is at our Massad office um, in the north, uh, we are about to, to open up a new suite of 7,000 square feet that's going to add another 160 or so um, agent workstations. So you're looking at somewhere between 160 and 200, 250 employees. Um, and that continues to be, um, I think, testament of the confidence we have in this market in the long, you know, long haul. The confidence we have in our people, the talent that we have to continue to grow and to be able to support that. The company has a staff complement of over 1,000 individuals and has, according to Bartholomew, spent thousands of dollars in a week's time on testing. However, he touts the initiative as one that has greatly reduced the anxiety level of both the staff complement and the managerial team. Sulaj Alfred, HTS News Force.